to Easy Science International. Uh, we are still penetrating deep into this topic called autotrophic nutrition for air level. So far we've looked at the adaptations of a leaf to carry out photosynthesis. We have also looked at the at light. We have also looked at light and absorption spectrum and the action spectrum. Now today we are going to compare the two spectra on the same graph. Meanwhile, our viewers and subscribers, thank you for the support. Uh, last week on Thursday, Easy Science, got a, Easy Science got a privilege. Campus B news blog. Uh, we shall have that link in the description and you shall follow. Yes, thank you so much. The editors of campus b for allowing us feature in your news on that note i appreciate all that you people there have rendered for the success of easy science international i thank the administration of mbarara university uh, basically mr jim and the academic registrar miss martha joshaba um professor dale the director Maryland High School and also the Elector Kansas Christian College. Uh, I also thank Mr. Mpima Michael and many, many more. Uh, because of time, we just appreciate all of you, all those who have contributed to the success of Easy Science International. Uh, today, let's go to our topic. So today we are going to compare these two graphs, the action spectrum and the absorption spectrum. Meanwhile, you can view our videos we've made about the absorption spectrum and the action spectrum to follow very well today. Now, the, the absorption spectrum and the action spectrum compared in the same graph. So, in singular, it is a spectrum. In plural, they are spectra. So, we want to see what really happens when we compare these two graphs on the same graph. Uh, um, we shall sketch our graph. Make sure I use a ruler while drawing these axes. Yes, and the graph books, it is, they are always demarcated. But make sure you use your pencil or paint, but basically pencil, to show us the main axes. So, since we are comparing two graphs, we shall have amount of light absorbed for the actions, for the absorption spectrum, we shall have amount of light absorbed.
Then here we shall have the for the action spectrum, we shall have rate of photosynthesis. So here we shall have the wavelengths. This shall be in nanometers. So when you look basically here, the units you can use arbitrary units, or for now we can leave it at that. So our electromagnetic spectrum runs from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. And uh, basically this is from violet to red. So it runs from violet, indigo. We have uh, blue, green, yellow, orange red red is at uh, 700 nanometers so we are going to start with the absorption spectrum This is a sketch, remember? So here is our absorption spectrum, then the action spectrum. So this is it. Now it's better not to write in the graph and uh, since there are two graphs drawn on the same axis, you have to make sure that these curves are different. Yes. So here we shall make a key. Uh, when you're using your book, it's better to draw it down, but I'll draw it aside. So our key here, we shall have the first curve. So this complete line shows the absorption spectrum. Whereas the dotted line shows the action spectrum. So in brief, this is the sketch of the absorption and action spectra compared on the same graph. Now, we make two observations from these two curves. The first observation, there is a cross correspondency or relationship between the absorption spectrum, though that's the curve for the absorption of light and the curve, the action spectrum. Okay, so this is explained this way. It indicates that indeed the amount of light absorbed is indeed used to stimulate the rate of 
photosynthesis. Another observation is that the curve for the absorption spectrum is above that of the action spectrum. Uh, the explanation to this observation is not all the amount of light absorbed is used to stimulate the rate of photosynthesis. Yes, some is lost as its energy. So this gap explains that. Now, we can use this analogy. Last time we used an example of chameleon. Now, let's, let us imagine chameleon lifting, chameleon lifting two jerry cans of water. Now, we observe that when chameleon fails to eat for like three days, chameleon cannot lift those jerry cans of water. Now, scientifically to prove that, what we do, we provide the food and provide the jerry cans. Then when chameleon eats food, chameleon will get the energy and lifts the jerry can. That is around here. When the plant gets a lot of light, you see that the rate of photosynthesis also increases. That is, when it absorbs a lot of light, a lot of photosynthesis takes place. Or oh, yeah, it takes place at the higher rate. Then, when we reduce the amount of food given to chameleon, chameleon who has been in position to lift two jerry cans will now lift just one five liter jerry can. Remember the other one at 20 liter jerry can. So, what? so this is because we've provided little food and chameleon has obtained limited amount of energy. Therefore, it doesn't make him be in position to lift the two 20 liter jerry cans. Instead, he can lift a five liter jerry can. Meanwhile, the same applies here. When the plant absorbs little energy, the rate of photosynthesis will also be low. Therefore, that is the analogy we can give for this. However, even for chameleon's case, not all the amount of energy in calories we expect uh, for him to obtain from the food is used in lifting the jerry can. Yes, for instance, carbohydrates have energy giving food, but our brain uh, utilizes almost 70% of the energy we get. If not, you see people fainting or chameleon fainting. So, of the amount of energy given to chameleon through the food, some of it is used in in providing energy to the brain and not to the muscles which we are interested in. The same applies to this process. Other energy is lost in terms of uh, excreta. That's the same when we see that like, where, we, where we explain that the light is lost in terms of energy and hence it is not used in the process of photosynthesis. So that's all to do with the action spectrum and the absorption spectrum. However, next time we shall look at the Engelmann's experiment on the action spectrum of photosynthesis. Meanwhile, you can do this exercise. Check for your NAB uh, in the NAB question bank for USCE paper 530 stroke 1 that is biology advanced biology paper 1 Look for number 45. Uh, it's about the Engelmann's experiment. You can do that number as we prepare for our next tutorial about the Engelmann's experiment. That will usher us into another subsection of autotrophic nutrition or photosynthesis. That is the biochemistry of photosynthesis. Thank you very much. 
still I still I appreciate uh, the author Campus B, Mr. Bernard, um, and all those people who have wished us well, those who have shared our videos, those who have shared our work, those who have subscribed. May the Almighty God bless you. Encourage more people to subscribe to Easy Science International and we shall get you sir. Sanjay Jaivan is my name. Thank you for listening.